So we need to make this equal to a function. And then we just pull down uh, our brackets there as we usually would write a function. However, obviously we don't give a name to our function here. Uh, we just leave it as function. Okay, so down here is our um, or function or plugin contents. Uh, so in this case, the plugin is just literally going to replace or create a target based on what it already is. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just say alert. Uh, I'm going to I'm just going to alert working out. So what we're going to do is we're going to test our plugin that we've just defined here, uh, and we're going to alert out if it's working. So inside ext.js, I, I want to go ahead and test this, and I'm going to test this using all a tags. So uh, the first thing we want to do in jQuery uh, is obviously wait for the document to be ready. And inside here, uh, we create our function. So uh, I want to apply this to all A tags. So I want to go ahead and use the selector to select all A. And now what I can do is, as opposed to using uh, someone else's function or uh, something part of the jQuery library, we can actually go ahead and call our own function. And that is target blank and don't forget the parentheses as well. Okay, so now that we've done this, what should happen is, is inside here, obviously we've included plugin where we've defined our plugin, and here we're actually calling our plugin. Uh, this should just simply alert out uh, working. So let's go ahead and refresh, and you can see that it just instantly alerts out working. Obviously there's no you know functionality to this, it's not you know what we want it to do but now that we know that we've called it through ext.js here uh, we know that it actually works because we alerted something out so if you uh, do complete this process every time you go ahead and create a function or, or anything in jQuery really you you'll know that something's working based on an event in this case it was just to alert something out so with regards to the actual um, plugin structure now we've completed it so we've essentially gone and created a jQuery plugin uh, however we'll obviously go through and we'll learn a bit more about how this particular plugin works and you might learn something along the way uh, as opposed to actually creating a plugin yourself so the first thing we want to go ahead and do is actually get the target of the uh, current element so in this case it's all a tags so we want to go ahead uh, and say var target so we're creating a new variable called target and inside of our plugin we can use this as we would normally in jQuery to reference the current element that this plugin has been appended to or the uh, element that's using this plugin so we can use this and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get the attribute target so in this case what we can now do is alert out target and we can start to see uh, inside of our browser what kind of output we get based on uh, what we've supplied as the target. Now at the moment the target is undefined, we haven't actually created a target to this. So when I refresh you can see we get this undefined uh, message here, or this undefined result here. Now if I go ahead and actually add a target but leave it blank, you'll see that we get nothing so we've got something blank so now we're starting to think what we actually need to check for in order to modify this target um, attribute and in here now I'm going to go ahead and use underscore blank uh, and that will just output underscore blank uh, and then obviously I can do the same for something like self uh, and when I refresh we get self so we now know that what we want to do is we're checking for three things first of all we're checking if um, we're checking if the target actually is undefined or if the target is defined but equals nothing. But we also need a list of, um, of targets that we can supply in uh, HTML uh, and then actually check these. And we're going to be creating them as an array. So the targets that we have, uh, well, we're allowed to use, we're going to be putting these into an array and checking whether they equal it. And if they don't equal it, so for example, uh, if we'd supplied self here, we don't want to then go ahead and change this to blank uh, if the user defined it as uh, self, which we will put into our array. So for now, let's go ahead and just get rid of all of this. Uh, inside plugin.js, uh, I'm going to get rid of this alert once again. Uh, and I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to define a target array. So we're going to create an array with uh, potential targets that could be inside of here. Now there's four uh, in total and this doesn't include using a target to open something in an iframe and we're not going to be taking that into account in this example. 
uh, but if you are loading content into an iframe using a link and you are using this plugin you might come across problems uh, so that's something to go ahead and look at yourself so the four options we can have is first of all blank remember we don't want to replace this with uh, blank if the target already equals blank so you know we don't want to go ahead and uh, use any more processing power to change this if it already equals blank we also don't want to change it if it equals self uh, and then again the same with parent and top as well so these are the other potential uh, values that target could be so now that we have this we can use the jQuery in array function to actually check whether uh, the the target is inside of this target array and if it's not inside the target array we you know we don't want to do anything Okay, so now that we've done this, we'll go ahead and create an if statement and we'll take into account the three issues that we came across. The first one being if this is undefined. So at the moment in this current state, the target is undefined. So the first uh, part of our uh, condition is if target is equal to undefined. And obviously what we want to do here is apply target blank. So if the target is equal, is is undefined, we want to uh, we want to apply the target underscore blank because that's what the plugin does. However, we're going to use the or operator to check two more things. The first one being that target is equal to nothing. So the first one, target undefined, is in this state as it is now. The second is if target is equal to nothing. So at the moment, this is equal to nothing, uh, and in this case, if target equals nothing. Um, now we could be clever and we could say uh, we want to trim this target value uh, so we'll go ahead and do that now I hadn't planned to do it but we can use jQuery.trim uh, to trim the left hand and the right hand white space of the target 